What's up guys, it's Chris with 7th Day Films here, and today I'm going to show you how to create the annoying orange effect, as seen in Dane Bowe's The Annoying Orange series here on YouTube. Now, I searched around and I was trying to find a tutorial, because I didn't know how to do this until today. But after not finding any tutorials in English that would actually help me, because I don't speak any other language, I decided to just fire up Final Cut and see what I could do. And this is what I came up with. It's not exactly the same as his, but it wouldn't get the job done. So, as you can see right here, I have my stock footage, which is just me talking. It's best to keep your head still while doing this. It helps with the editing later on. And here I have my orange that I will put my face on. Alright, so... The stock footage right here will go under the orange image. So let's get started here. Go ahead and double click the orange. We will use masks to do this. So go to effects, video filters, matte, and mask shape. Then it will give you something like this. Go over here to filters and set the shape to oval. Make sure to invert it so it's like that. And these settings here, I pretty much know what I need to put on mine because I've done this several times already but your settings that I just entered there they will be a little bit different you'll just have to play around with it and get it looking perfect on your video and we have that done so as you can see right there is the way it looks we will go back to filters and add another one mask shape this is for the other eye, so set it to oval, invert, and your settings here should be the same as the other one, so once you find that out, it'll be really easy to just go here and enter them. Then just, once again, move this up to the other eye. And we have the two eyes there. But now we need to add a mouth, because an orange talking without a mouth is just a little creepy. Especially if it has two eyes staring at you, but no mouth. This one will be, of course, oval. Invert. And this one is a little bit different, so... Let's see. We will set it to about 50 by 40, maybe? Or 20. Again, your settings there will be different. Just play around with it, and you'll figure it out. Alright then line it up this orange is going to have a mustache this mustache orange I need to get this in a better position here alright that's a little bit better now as you can see we have this but it doesn't look good because it's not blended together very well to fix that we will add an effects video filter matte once again but this time pick mask feather and this will allow you to just blend them together to make them look a little bit better as you can tell it's making it look a little bit better so once you have that at a setting that you like mine will be about 81 we will double click on this one which is the stock footage here go to effects video filters, image control, and tint. Now we will try to make this blend a little bit better by changing the color to an orange color, not red. And here you will just have to play around with it. If you take enough time, you can get it looking really good. But, yeah, we're just gonna not leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that, just for this tutorial, because this is just a tutorial. Now, once you have done that, you are pretty much finished. And there I am, all orange tinted. And as you can tell over here, if I scroll through it, it looks like my face is on an orange. Talking. Just kind of creepy. Alright, so yeah, I will go ahead and render this and put it at the end of the video so you can see the finished product. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Again, this is not the only way to do this. I know this is not the way he does it because the mouth is closer to the eyes than his. 
think I have a way to do that, but I'm still working on it and it's not looking very promising. So I'm just going to make this because this will get the job done for most people and you can put this on cars, pillows, marshmallows, cans, cups, whatever you want. Just be creative with it and have fun. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. If you need any help, leave a comment below and I will get back to you. And also leave video responses of your orange or whatever item you put your face on. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't. And send this out to your friends so they'll know how to put their face on objects. And thank you for watching this video. Also, I forgot to add one more thing. You can, in the audio here, you can add a pitch. Like, change the pitch of it. Because I believe he does in the Annoying Orange. I'm going to set mine to about 123 and the tightness to about 70. Just play around with it. You can set it whatever you want to, but that's just what I'm going to do. And I will show you the finished product right after this. Hey, Apple. Hey, Apple. Apple. Hey, Apple. Aren't you glad I didn't say Apple again? <laughs>